Welcome to this month's General Engineering Pro News Roundup. My name is Rebecca and here are our top stories. The world's first complete eye transplant was performed on a US veteran in New York. Aaron James lost most of his face back in 2021 when he accidentally touched a 7,200 volt light wire. Back in May of this year, he underwent a 21 hour surgery where he had a rare partial face transplant in addition to the eye transplant. Surgeons at NYU Langone Health, who perform the surgery, say he is recovering well, and although it isn't guaranteed, they aren't ruling out the possibility that Mr. James may regain his sight. South Korean shipbuilding major Hanwha Ocean has secured an order worth approximately $498 million to construct four very large ammonia carriers for Greek ship owner Naftomar Shipping and Trading. Each carrier can transport 93,000 cubic metres of ammonia, making them the largest of its kind. The vessels are said to be delivered by 2027. Clean energy firm Intersect Power LLC has commissioned a 500 megawatt solar farm and a battery energy storage system in Riverside County, California. The Oberon Solar and Storage site spans roughly 2,600 acres of public lands managed by the Bureau of Land Management. It marks the first project to be completed under BLM's Desert Renewable Energy Conservation Plan and will generate enough power for 207,000 homes. Engineering UK has announced a brand new pilot programme for schools designed to help students explore solutions to tackle climate change and discover how engineers and technology are a key part of this. The programme will run between January to July next year and will test a cross-curricular approach with teacher-led science, geography and English lessons that bring real-world examples into the classroom. Novo Nordisk invests into an expansion to meet demands for diabetes and obesity medication. The facility, located in Kalundborg, Denmark, will see the investment go towards increasing the capacity of active pharmaceutical ingredients such as semaglutide used in Azempec and Wegovi. The project will create 800 jobs and construction will be finalised from the end of 2025 through 2029. And finally, researchers at the University of Birmingham are teaming up with Cooks and Gold Additive Manufacturing to develop precious metal alloys for additive manufacturing. This is part of a drive by the UK's Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council to boost economic growth and showcase the breadth of research and innovation across the country. The two teams will work together on customised alloys for powder bed fusion, which is a 3D printing technique that has a wide range of industry-specific applications in aerospace, healthcare, glass manufacturing and jewellery. That's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at NES Fircroft for your daily dose of engineering news, career advice and job vacancies. See you next time for our engineering news roundup.